morning. Um, got my hair fixed today. It's, it's cool to back to my ponytail. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm getting a lot of notes about the uh, basic free for VIP from magazine and um, Erotica 7 magazine. And um, uh, there's a reason why it's not there. And, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, just a few minutes because I actually have to get up. I'm already dressed, ready to go. I have, to, I have an investors meeting I have to get to, which is part of this, this short video. I'm going to make it short today. I ain't going to be long-winded. Um, then have to get home and work on a song called Black Butterfly. Um, <clears throat> um, I, uh, I'm working on a project called the Green Reaper Foundation. Okay? And, and um, that's a project that will be an entertainment hub based out of Atlanta and Arizona. There'll be two of them. And, and it'll be open sourced for other people to say, hey, I like your ideas. How did you do it? And they would get this PDF, this big, huge packet of what we did to make it happen and our budgets and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> in that, we were doing several different things. Um, one of the things I did was build a GoFundMe page. Um, there's a huge interest in the Dream Reaper Foundation AC in Georgia. Um, but on the GoFundMe page, it didn't do anything, which let me know that the people are, are willing to come. They're willing to have fun there. They're willing to take their vacations there, get entertained there, get educated there, learn about natural resources and eat food that was grown straight out of the ground, but they're not willing to help build it and that's okay that's okay so what I had to do was look back and think about <clears throat> the fear that people have about our economy and and I'm not saying it's not real I'm just saying that there, there's def a definite fear amongst people about what's coming and people don't want to um, put even five dollars into something they're unsure about um, and I understand that so what I had to do was add value to the, excuse me, I should start over. Yeah. Um, I had to add value to, to the um, Dream Weaver project um, in order to get the funding for it. Um, first of all, I rewrote everything directed towards investors, which I didn't want to do. Um, that takes money out of the community that I put. The, the communities that I plan on helping across the nation, that takes money out of out of out of that. Okay, um, and I didn't want that the uh, you know the uh, power struggles that come along with that. Okay, so um, what I did was I talked with Ricky and. Um, we devised a, a alternative plan, which was to create everything that I do um, and make money from, to take it and figure out exactly what it really takes to run it and take all the profits um, after payroll, after maintenance, after insurance, you know, after everything is taken care of, all the bills is, is paid for the company to run. There, there's enough m funds for the company to, to keep growing. Um, how much do we really have left over, you know, in the company? So we devised a plan to take that money and put it towards the Dream Reaper project and fund it ourselves. Um, that's why there is not a, a free membership for Dream uh, uh, VIP Row Magazine or Erotica. Um, there is a basic free on Dream Intervention Media, and it does have access to some nice information too. We just started doing our guru spirit, which is the people that do something in technology, environment, spiritual, sensual. Um, all these gurus have their their own little area where you can, you know, listen to what they say about business or music or whatever, and they just give you some some tips and advice and. Um, 
And so some things to ponder and to apply into your life to make your life better. I'm always about making everybody's life better. So um, it's real important. So there is a free basic um, the Dreamweaver. And um, it does have access to some nice stuff. Um, our new radio station, there's a couple of channels that the basic free membership will have access to, especially the independent artist station, because the whole thing is to get them heard and, and get to get the people talking about their music if they like it, or um, if they don't, to, to criticize in a way that is not um, abusive. So um, we're create, you know, the radio station's creative. We're trying to make it look pretty still. Um, and the design of it is to, to really push artists out there and, and stuff that you wouldn't hear on the radio. Um, we're working with ASCAP to get our radio um, copyright so we can play, you know, what plays on the radio. Um, so it's going to be really nice. And even that's not free, that, you know. What I had to do was think, you know, um, for the artist side, I wanted to do... Um, hold on a moment. Um, I wanted to do a, somebody was knocking at my door. I wanted to do, um, $5 a month per song and we'll play it and, and it's work with in the you corner. to get hits and, and things like that. Um, so really none of it's free and none of it's expensive. I mean, we really knocked down some prices to just like ridiculous prices, um, just so that we could make things happen and, and with the vision of making it happen. For you, so um, I, I will evaluate the notes that I've gotten and and see what I could do. Um, it would really help if you gave me an idea of what you thought you would would get from VIP Room Magazine or Erotica Seven Magazine for free. Um, what 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 type of content could I present to you? that would be free and, and worth your viewing and, and how often you would support that. Um, you know, so when you send me those notes, please, you know, give me that kind of information and uh, we'll, we'll definitely um, evaluate it and, and see if we can make it work. But in the meantime, um, right now there is, there is not a membership for VIP Room Magazine or Erotica that is uh, free. Um, there is one on Dreaming Da Vinci, and, and I plan on giving that some really good stuff. The paid memberships are going to be off the chain. Um, I, I've been telling everybody now is a good time to join. Um, and uh, I would say um, we're working every day in the background. Um, that's why you see me flipping out on my Facebook and other social media, having fun, because um, when I'm in a club, I'm actually working. So even though I have a lot of fun doing what I do, I'm working. So I don't like being in the clubs when I am when I have free time. That's not what I do, because I'm always there when I don't have free time. Um, now is a good time to join. Um, for one, you are helping us. Um, you get the type of stuff that you want. And as things come online and you see it, you know, you're going to start feeling really good because you're going to start taking control of the aspects that you would like to see in your life change and in the world change. Um, a large amount of the funding is going back to the Dream Reaper Project and so that we can build that in 2017 and kick that off. Um, starting with a four-day celebration um, festival of fashion, music, and art. Um, we are um, paying people. So we're still working on this system. It's called the kickback. And what it is is paid members um, are tracked who they bring to the site, what their friends do on the site. And as people interact with the site, we actually kick some of that funding back to the people to bring
directly to you to get a check from us. So there's a reason why it's not free. And, and making those free ones really hurts everybody. It hurts my team because um, we have to figure out different ways to pay them. It hurts the company because it has no room to grow. It hurts you because I cannot do programs like the kickback, which is really important to me right now. I think that would be just great in this time of people really needing money. Um, creating ways for them to interact that... that Instead of using um, other little um, ways of tricking you and, and then giving you a little bit of money off of that, we just straight up, hey, you know, let's let's take X amount of dollars and design a system that people get a kickback, um, you know, and and don't have to be. Uh, out there bashing and, and slandering their, their social medias with, with our stuff, you know, fun, you like it. I don't do that. You know, I do, I do not get out on other people's pages and just start bashing their pages with my stuff. Um, yes, I do share stuff with, you know, friends because I think it's of interest. And if it's, if it is, they, they like it. If it's not, they delete it. Um, it's no big deal. And, and the people that I do do that to, um, uh, vice versa, you know, we all have a, a, a semi-spoken, uh, you know, thing about that. So, um, but I, I try to share content relevant to a person um, or a person's group because a lot of people I work with work within a large following. And so we try to do it. I got one of the top models in America um, on my profile simply because um, she wants to help inspire some of the younger models she saw me working with. And um, I, I um, will be sharing some of her stuff really soon here and some of her insights really soon here. Um, I might focus it more towards um, the websites, but uh, across my social media too. So basically, um, I wanted to let you guys know why there wasn't a free I wanted to let you know, um, yes, it's a lot of work. It, it's fun work. I enjoy it, and I especially enjoy the envision of, of being able to really touch people in, in many ways. Um, like I said, we're still trying to just get together the funding for the nonprofits that the Dreamweaver Foundation will fund, um, such as Cape to Motivation, MC Light, uh, CC Peniston. Those are just a few of the ones that we're looking at and have been talking with to try to do something to help um, increase their bottom line so they can do more because we've seen them out in the community, uh, you know, just making changes and, and touching people. So, um, Ashara is another one that we're looking at. So the Dreamweaver project's really important. Um, we won't just be directly uh, uh, going out and creating projects in the community. Um, we will be working with people in that community that are making changes. And and I'm not talking about here or there. I'm talking about across America. If I find out that there's a need, we're going to address that need, evaluate that need, um, fund that need, and then take action. And then we're going to moderate that need, meaning that we're going to stay continuously working in that area until things get better, um, whether that's five or 20 years. Somebody's going to be there. Um, so it's real important to me. It's real important to me. And it's real important that I bring you great content and not just the stereotypical stuff that we see every day. And it's really important that I give you very deep, insightful stuff. So I just want to take a moment before I, I start my day and um, explain that. So, yeah. Oh, let me say. Uh, so the websites are Dreaming Da Vinci Media. Dot com. I know it's long. Um, I, you know, I didn't want to go with DDM. Um, VIP room, mag.com. And then um, erotica7, the number 7, mag.com. Okay? And the 7 does mean God, okay? Or spiritual or universal or a higher power. So um, just to clear the air about what erotica is about. A lot of people have the wrong idea. I really want to spend a lot 
lot of times you're doing it right. You know, so um, I will talk to y'all soon.